Hello, tonight is the perfect opportunity to do a bit of a scientific test with the Stella Myra EDT90 triplet refractor because as you can see it's cloudy and there's quite a bright moon overhead so not really going to be doing any imaging tonight but I can see stars so I think it would be good as the Stella Myra EDT90 is quite new to determine how well it performs with the crop sensor xt1 camera i've got which is the size of sensor a lot of people use and to see how the stars are on the corners of the frame without the reducer flattener and then adding the reducer flattener or vice versa so we kind of get a before and after comparison i'd like to do a vignetting test as well but tonight realistically that's not going to happen with the gradient from the moon and also the reflect sky glow off the clouds and things like that so and i'm not going to be using a filter because i think that's going to probably affect the star shapes from the optics and i'm not going to be stacking either it's going to be a single 30 or 60 second exposure whatever i can get away with and uh, i'll meet you on the computer when i've done that and hopefully there's not too much error involved because i've not stacked it used filters pointed at the same patch of sky with and without the flattener and we'll zoom in by the same amount so hopefully it's a good scientific test and a good indication for you folks of whether this could be something for you or not so yep yeah, i'll meet you on the computer shortly and i'll just get this rattle off all this that i need to do and uh, we'll go inside Okay, I've captured some test images using the reducer flattener and now I'm going to pop the camera and that reducer flattener off and replace it just with a plain two inch nose piece there. So we've got a comparison before and after using the field flattener so we can check the stars in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> 